Hello everyone, you are watching Services Ground. In this video, we will discuss about layout and design. What is the experience when we view a design piece? Are we overwhelmed, overjoyed, excited, maybe turned off, or we not sure what to make of it? Often, the layout makes the first impression on the viewer. It can decide whether design is worth exploring more for a few additional future seconds or whether it should be complete. As a person in charge of communicating a large amount of information to the viewer, your job is to organize in a manageable, digestible way. You could prioritize certain parts of the layout simply by its position and composition elements. Do we want to prioritize the photo? Then yes, the photo might become the mainstay of the design. Do we want to deliver a strong stop in your text message, maybe with a straightforward call to action? Then the way we lay out or type with our photos might make that message more clear. We see bad examples of layout all the time. Those mostly consist of poorly placed photos, too many photos, or awkward photo cropping. These bad examples can also include too much information for the viewer to read, often discouraging them from reading more. What we need to do is entice and lead the viewer on a journey through our design in a planned order. Take for example this concerned flyer. We also want the photo to be the first thing they see. Next, the band name will be pretty important. So this needs to be the next thing in the produce list in the terms of layout. There is no point in the viewer reading this file if they cannot attend the concert date. So having that be the next prominent item in the layout is key in showing them what they want to see. So they say where do I buy tickets? Let's see. Right after the date, there is key information here. It is easy to find too because of the highlighted box. There are some smaller text in that. Layout can communicate emotions just like photos and typography. Having a layout that is uniform and rigid with perfect alignment can communicate a sense of professionalism, cleanliness and untidiness. White space is the spacing between elements. Having a large amount of white space can continue this feeling of openness and express a feeling of calm. White space that is right can spark emotions of anxiety or anti-self sense of anger. It generally does not work to have a little white space around your elements. Take for instance, this graphic with enough white space that design has a chance to breathe. It just feels much better. When I see design work, that needs to be tweaked or revised. Most of time is because there is no enough white space or breathing room around the margins of the piece or the outer edges and print design. It always safe to keep text and information inside the margin area that goes around a given design piece. The balance or overall composition of the design is very important in maintaining these emotional responses. If the balance of design is off, it will not evoke your design response. And that's why it's important to maintain the right balance between photos, type, and other design elements. This is known as composition. Take for example this poster. The layout contains 5 photos and a few lines of type. But I seem a little bit lost trying to find the focal point of the design. Where should my eye look? Where should it focus? Which photo is more important? It seems to lack a sense of purpose and meaning and seems to it seems to lack a sense of purpose and meanings and seems disorganized. But with a few tweaks, we can change the design from confusing to simple and striking with one or two photos. We can change the entire feeling of the design. Now it's simple precise with a clear focal point. It communicates a clear message without overwhelming the viewer. Focal point is an important aspect in the layout of design. 
having two compelling focal points makes it hard to digest the information as the viewer does not know which focal point to draw their eye on first. The good, the bad and the awkward. It's easier to learn design by studying why bad examples are bad than looking at good design sometimes. But why is this? Because when we sit down from above badly our design, we start to discover what we don't like about it. This in turn helps us find out what not to do in our own designs. We start to develop our viewer empathy. I'm going to take this order layout and let you look at it for one minute. After viewing it for a little while, what suggestions do you have to make it better from your perspective? Having empathy towards the viewer is highly sought out great in a designer. There is a science behind good layout, and but there is also a feeling that you develop on whether a layout works or not. And being able to hone that ability, it takes time. And it takes practice trying out and experimenting lots of different layout options. Giving yourself and the client different layout options help to spark new ideas. Sometimes the layout that chosen by the client is one of the later layouts that I developed after spending an hour or two with the design. It takes time to work out where elements should go. It's a complex puzzle and your job is to place all the pieces together in the most compelling manner, while still maintaining readability and delivering information. That is the art of design, not the science. So let's take our bad example for a layout design and make it better. First of all, the three dinner courses are divided in this layout. We want to make sure everything that can be grouped together in a logical fashion is grouped together. Also, there is just too much information going on here and I am not sure where my eyes should focus. This needs a clear focal point or perhaps the use of photo may help here. If we can organize the text in better layout and may leaves us more room for a photo and right now there is zero room. The font choices are all over the place and I don't mind having a sans serif and sans on the same design but these seems to be random choice. The join us and the four to member lines seems to be competing with each other. I think join us may not need to be large and can be a bit smaller, maybe a part of the fourth remember phrasing. So combining those two into one headline and making join us smaller will really help clean this up and give us more room for a photo. The social media icons are an eyesore here. Everyone knows companies have a Facebook page or at least they should. So let's make the social icons on the same line with the other contact info and make them much smaller. Anyway, we can reduce the focus on so many different elements the better. The dividing bar here does not seem to be doing too much as it's already a solid blue box dividing these content columns. So removing extra stuff like this will be critical to simplify the design. There is no type hierarchy, no single headliner or area of body copy. So we need to make sure we add some type hierarchy while we redo the layout of poster to add a nice sense of structure. And lastly there's just too many stars competing with the other layout elements.
now that we just going to lay out quite a bit of changes have affected the final result. First of all, the courses are now in order and reach as such. Notice the newly added type hierarchy. There is now a large font size of the course number and even smaller size for the course name but still readable size. Notice the dividing lines between the three courses. This helps break up that large single blue box into different sections. The combining of two original headlines into one has really helped us giving us room for a photo but has also made those elements the main focal point of the design instead of having so many different focal points. Lastly, the contact and social media icons are all together in one line making them visible but not taking away from the main theme and call the actions and design. If you guys have any question or queries, please let us know in the comments below or you can send us email at the following address. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Take care and I will see you in the next video.